Okay, we're going. Okay, today we're going to have what I call one of my picnic table chats out in front of my prepper shack here in Alabama. We sit on this table a lot, talk to friends, talk to you all about survival. And today's subject is kind of different. Uh, it's not about survival vests. It's going to be about, of all things, a survival pencil sharpener. Now, due to the uh, uh, size of this, it's not going to show up on camera, but there's plenty of pictures in the article for you to see. And basically, we have a survival pencil sharpener. This is one of the cheapest, best things that you can have in your gear. Now, many people don't realize what all you can use these for. And the best thing to do with it, of course, is uh, to make a fire to get tender. Now, when I'm wearing, like, this particular vest, back up a little bit, sweet. All right, this one, I can run around, uh, probably live in the woods for a month or so. I got everything in it. It's kind of heavy, you know, plus, uh, you know, you got concealed carry, you got, you know, your extra gun in here. You got, uh different things in each pocket. What do you put in your pocket? Well, if I want to just go on a normal hike and I don't want to have all this heavy gear on or it's hot outside, I'll just grab me a light vest with hardly anything in it. You get out here and because I like pockets. Pockets are wonderful things. You want button down pockets to keep your good stuff in or or a snap or something of this nature. Now I can just grab this pencil sharpener, throw that in there, paramecium rod, whatever. I'm lightweight, I'm good to go. I got my tender and whatnot. Now I have uh, various and sundry fire kits that I like to bring or use. And most all of mine will include tender of sorts and uh, a pencil sharpen because when that tinder goes, it's gone, I always have tinder. So my favorite one is this one. This is put out by a company called survivalistgear.com and this tiny little thing has got uh, a basic aviation style uh, flint type uh, fire starter, strike it and then you got your little cotton wad you can light, but it's also got in there a pencil sharpener of all things. Very cool pencil sharpener at that because it's made out of magnesium. Now I can shave off the magnesium. You've seen those magnesium fire starter bars. Got the flint and steel on the side of it. Those are cool. Those are heavy too. And uh, But anyway, you can put that on there and it burns like 6,000 degrees. It burns when it's wet. It's great stuff for starting fires when it's hot. So, this is so small, I can fit it. You know, everybody likes to make these little Altoid kits that we all make when we first start out prepper. You know, you got your fish hooks in there, you got whatever you want to make one. You get it all together, you can drop this right in there. You're good to go. I can just put this in my pocket if I wanted to and have even more gear, but I can stop fishing if I saw a little creek while I was out hiking. I got my fire starter. That's probably a month's worth of fire starting to me without even having to get that pencil sharpener out. No primitive ways. Very simple and easy. Now my all-time favorite, you'll see what they call tobacco boxes out at uh, a lot of uh, reenacting uh, like for frontier days some places or things of this nature. People have these in there, they get crazy. It's got a magnifying glass on top of it, it's pretty cool. You can light your pipe with it, you can light your campfire with it. You pack this thing full of tinder, as you pick up char cloth, whatever you want, and you use it that way. Now, even though this is very small, fits in the pocket nicely, it's a little bit heavy for me. So, I don't always carry it, but I always have it in my pack. We all know two is one and one is none, so always have two fire starting kits. Another thing you can do with these is, like for example, this Altoid can or this small can, I can cut the bottom of my 
jeans off, stick it in here, stick that on the coals in the fire, a little bit of smoke comes out of there, I got char cloth. Char cloth lights up real easy and nice. And I'm going to get out here and show it to you all day. Most of you all know this trick. If not, read some other books. All right. So what this is good for, this pencil sharpener, is I can pick up any sticks. I can go out here in the woods when it's been rained and wet and nasty and all that. You get up under a bush or tree where the uh, soft, dry twigs that are dead are still there. Grind them up. The fire is going to start. Very easy. Don't need my tinder. Works like that. I can take this blade off right here. Stick it on a fire spindle. Do that. That's one of the hardest things to make is that spindle to get it right. I can also make all kinds of trap triggers. Nice little sharpened ones. Look good. If anybody's ever tried to sharpen a twig, get it exactly right. You know it's darn near impossible unless you sit there and get meticulous with it. Quick and easy. Quick and easy means less calories burned when you're out in the woods and you need to save calories. Great thing to have. I can build about, I don't know, six different uh, trap triggers on this thing, catch possums or raccoons, whatever I want. Make it smoother, better, because, you know, sharp edges, uh, for example, I have something in a nice point that sits on top of a rock. That's, that's going to be my trigger, right? That rock's going to slide. If I got a nice pretty point on it, it's going to slide easy. I don't sit there and do this, 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 this. I just, and I'm done. I can put more traps out. More traps means more food. So I just want to make a quick little short video of this. You can read the article, get more uses for it, and I thank you today.